let's have a look at what variation is in time series data. So what I've got here is a graph that's an example of constant variation. And how I can tell this is what I want to do is I'm going to draw a line just hitting most of the top peaks and a line hitting most of the bottom peaks. And what I hope you that you notice is that those two lines are reasonably parallel. Now that tells me that the variation, how, how variable the data is at the beginning, is about a similar width of variation at the end. And it's about the same as in the middle. Okay? And so that's what <coughs> excuse me, I can I can say. So we can say we've got um, constant variation um, from 1990 to 2012 in the surface area of sea ice. Okay, let's have a look then at this graph here. So this is looking at some um, pass the amount of passengers over time. And again, if I draw those lines, just kind of hitting most of the top points and hitting most of the bottom points. What I hope that you can notice is that at the beginning, at about 1950, that's about how wide, how much spread there is in the data. As we go on to, say, 1956, that's getting wider still. By the time we get up to 1960, it's getting much wider. So that means as the years go by, the amount of variation is increasing over time. Okay, and that's what we want to be able to comment. So this is often called, um, because this is an effect that basically looks like this, this is what we call a fan effect. Okay, and we would describe it as, as the years go, as we go from 1950 through to 1916, the variation or the differences, the, amount, the, um, the difference between the number of visitors during a year is a lot more variable. And this one here, if I have draw again, line around hitting the top points, and we've got trends and all those good things going on as well. So I'm just looking at these lines that I'm drawing, what's happening to the width of them. So at the beginning in 2000, there's our width. As we get to 2003, it's not quite as wide. 2007, 8, um, 2010, 2014. And we can see that that variation in the data is reducing over time.